a young man who is influenced by the Apostle Paul, influenced by his mother, by his grandmother, been raised in church, has a tremendous Christian heritage, and the Apostle Paul has given him an admonition. He says, stir up the gift that's within you that has come to you by the laying on of hands and how that you have have partaken in this walk of faith and become a part of the heritage of the Christian faith. I read that and I kind of have a little smile that comes into my heart because I think about my own self growing up in the church. And I remember how that uh, my, my pastor, Brother McCann, when I was young, came to me and he says, Jack, he says, I see the call of God in your life. And uh, he said that I sense that God is calling you to the ministry. And you see, that was a very important thing because I had a stirring in my heart and, and I had always sensed that that's probably what was going to happen in my life, that I would probably become a preacher. But to have it confirmed to me by a man whom I considered to be a mentor, he was my pastor, and he spoke those words to me. And I think it's very, very important that in the church, in the Christian faith, that we pray and we ask God to begin to show us young people who have the call of God in their lives. And I'm talking about specifically to the ministry, the pastorate, the evangelistic work, uh, missionaries, teachers, people who God would separ separate and set aside to be used for the furtherance of the gospel because it's so very, very important. It's a part of our continuation of our heritage that we have men and women who speak the word of God, who God has given the ability to handle the very oracles of God and to speak forth faith unto people. Remember Jesus told us, he said, uh, this thing about calling people labors into the harvest. He said the, the fields are white. I mean, there's, there's much work to do, but there are few. There are few who will enter into the labor of the harvest. And I understand that uh, there are times when anybody wrestles with this. I certainly did as a young man. I, I wrestled. Is this God calling me or is this my own self? And I, I wanted so desperately to know that this is not something that, that, that I had, had invented in my own mind. But I wanted to know that the calling of God was surely there. And I remember one time I, my pastor in Pensacola when I was at Open Bible, Open Bible Church there, uh, he said, uh, the fruits... The, the calling will begin to bear fruit as you live your life and as you live your ministry. God will begin to confirm the calling. And I've been mindful of that all these years. And I think about people who have been touched because I responded to the call of God in my life. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.